One. What's up, my nerds? Welcome back another episode. First nerd on the right, I'm your host, Mr. J. Currently, my co-host is with my other co-host, Cleo and Alice. So, while they do their thing, let's go over these cool Jurassic Park stuff that have come out in the last couple weeks. So, you guys remember last video I did, I'm like, oh, I wish there was some more cool Jurassic Park stuff. Guess what? Right after I said that and posted that video, boom, boom, boom. It's literally like one after another. I swear to God, these things come out like in the same week. They were all announced. So basically, first thing that we got announced was the quarter scale, uh, Owen and Baby Blue. First off, super, super stoked that we're finally getting quarter scale uh, statues. I've been imagining that in my head for a long time. Like, how cool would it be if we get some quarter scales? Unfortunately, they're giving us Jurassic World. As much as I love the Jurassic Park series in general, uh, the Jurassic World trilogy just doesn't sit as strongly with me as Jurassic Park did. So although I'm tr super stoked for, for this quarter scale, I wish it was the original park members, you know, give us uh, 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 Dr. Grant, give us Ian Malcolm, give us Dr. Sattler, John Hammond, you know, any of them, I would have been oh, over the moon. I would have been like, yep, instant pre-order right there. But since it's Jurassic World, Owen, and the exact same baby blue that we've seen five times from different companies it's cool it's a start but i don't think i'm gonna go ahead and get that one but either way if you are interested in it super cool piece look at that the face pretty decent now this is from infinity studios uh they went with his uh you know his usual gear he's got the leather uh gauntlet on the shin guards the whole works uh, you got some toys in the bottom, it looks like. Footballs and other leather balls that I'm sure Blue can play with without destroying. You got Blue, looks like he's standing on top of a metal bucket. Cool piece. I believe they went with uh, actual like leather for his clothing or whatnot. So it's not a full resin statue or anything like that. They went mixed. Uh, materials so it's gonna look more realistic here's a closer look at blue she looks cool another closer look here on uh, his clothing size wise not bad either they're giving us what it what's it look like uh, I can't really s zoom in too well on this picture but if I had to guess was that around 50 centimeters something like that so he's gonna be a decent size, guys. Not bad at all. Cool for a quarter scale. If you're interested in that, I think the only place I've seen it for pre-order right now, and I've been looking, has been Big Bad Toy Store. And with shipping including, you're looking at around 900 bucks. Decent for a quarter scale nowadays. But fortunately for me, I just don't love it enough to want to spend that kind of money on it so it's it I'm sure it's gonna be one of those you know pieces that once it's gone it's gone or it could be wrong it could be one of those pieces that sticks around for a while maybe it'll go on discount later who knows but with Jurassic Park usually they sell out so if you want one of these it is available for pre-order now go check it out second thing that was announced and I think it's probably one of the coolest ones. The Life Size Beta by Queen Studios. Man, that thing is nuts. Look at the detail on this, guys. Unreal. It's so cool how much you can really get out of a statue when you go full life size on it. And I've said it before, nothing beats life size. Look at the, the, the paint, the detail on the skin so so beautiful i love the base 
with the vegetation and the dirt and everything. It is by Queen Studios, so you are going to have that yellow light, it seems like, around the whole base, the circular base. It's decent. I mean, they're trying to have all their pieces have uh, the same base on it. I don't love it, don't hate it. What I care about is what's on top anyways, and what's on top is nuts. This thing is beautiful, guys. Check it out. Look at that eye. Beautiful, beautiful. The scales, the paint job. This is top quality, guys. 97 centimeters, guys. Look at it next to that dude in this picture. That thing's huge. That's literally the size of, like, a dog. The size of a big dog. Man, I don't even know where I would put something like that. Ah, man. I would need, like, literally a dedicated room, which I don't have right now, so. Plus, it's Queen Studios, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be stupid expensive. My guess, they haven't announced the price for U.S. or Europe or anything right now. I just know that it's available for pre-order in China. And I've tried looking for a price, couldn't find one even in the... Uh, Chinese currency so we're gonna have to wait a little longer to see how much it is my guess probably like four grand or something like that three grand a lot of money if I was rich I would totally get it but for that price uh, uh, I'm gonna have to pass that's too much money but man that thing is gorgeous if you can afford it hey power to you guys I can't wait to look at it on your guys pictures or videos but unfortunately I will be passing on that on the side note it looks a million times better than any life-size baby blue that has come out before that's for sure last but not least prime one studio released their uh, blue and beta piece before even the their showcase came out and then they showed it in the showcase again Kind of a overkill if you ask me didn't really care for it once it was shown on their showcase seeing as I already spent the week looking at it but that being said it looks great blue looks super cool it's got beta on the side uh, unfortunately beta seems to have a massive underbite I'm sure they'll fix that hopefully but other than that it looks good decent size 41 centimeters uh, it's got a different base they went with the the snow and everything it has Jurassic World on a little bonus part here it's not the same base as uh, their usual stuff but I think that's cool in its own because it makes it that much more different price though eleven hundred dollars a little on the pricier side I get it that you know it comes with beta but is beta really worth an extra two or three hundred dollars cuz the usual Raptors if you look at them now they're like eight hundred nine hundred dollars and it has a way bigger base than this this one's smaller yeah it has two big tree logs on it but I mean I don't know guys it is a Jurassic World piece, so as much as I do appreciate it, I don't know if I'm going to want to spend $1,100 on that. So that's a, that's a big maybe on my part as well. Cool though. Blue looks great. Paint job looks good. This one is available pre-order. If you're interested, go check it out. If you missed out on their first blue, you can get this one. I also missed out on the first blue, which is why I was interested in this one. But for that price, I don't know how interested I am now. Especially after, like I said, they announced that big behemoth diorama piece. I think I'd rather invest whatever free money I have into that as opposed to this. But, again, super stoked. We're getting a lot more Jurassic Park stuff now. Awesome. I'm pumped for that. I hope we keep seeing more. And yeah, just want to keep you guys updated on that stuff. 
like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's talk. What do you think? Am I wrong in not liking Jurassic World as much? Do you guys like this stuff? Are you going to be pre-ordering any of this? Let's talk. Remember, I have a... I usually post here as often as I can. I'm always on the lookout for cool new stuff. Let's let's go over this together, guys. So, thanks for joining me. See you, my nerds.